So I'm just rigging a few big soft plastics for castaway. Um, these are a big paddle tail, a Irukandji Sicario. I haven't actually used these a lot, but I've tested them and they're just about perfect for casting into the shallows and slow rolling them over the flats and around structure and that sort of thing. So I'm just gonna show you how I like to rig them. It's a little bit different to what some people will do. Um, most people will rig big plastics, unweighted plastics on a worm hook, something like that. That's the BKK Titan. But I've actually found that the hookup ratio and um, just the action is a bit better using something like these. I've um, tried a lot of different hooks, but these are pretty well perfect. They're a light trolling hook or a game hook, straight shank. Um, so they act kind of like a keel on the plastic as well. Um, though I do like to use a little tungsten nail weight as well, um, just to get that lure tracking straight and swimming perfectly um, and not rolling. Um, that's really important on the flats for the, for the big flatties. So um, yeah, and then also run a stinger. Um, I like these fangs with the ultra anti-rust coating just because they last so much longer in your tackle box and in between using the plastics. These big plastics will last a while. Um, sometimes you'll be able to catch multiple big fish on just one plastic, so having a hook that lasts is pretty important. What I like to do with these, that's just a plain Kajiki um, BKK there, but I actually like to um, bind on a little hook keeper there, which you can probably just see. Um, and then also use a little bit of super glue um, just to hold it in there nice and tight. Um, and then also I attach a stinger using 40 pound fluoro. I have tried wire and that sort of thing, but it just makes the bait too stiff um, and you lose a bit of action. Sometimes they don't even swim properly. So I've found actually just using mono or fluorocarbon for the stinger is the way to go. And I tie that stinger straight to the bend of the hook there. It just sits like so. Um, so the line from the, the bend of the hook there to the stinger just under the belly, some about there, um, is fine. So I just pop the hook out that belly slit there. Slide it straight up. That's about perfect, that one there. Um, then with this little nail weight, the tungsten nail weight, I've found with these Sicarios, just pushing it under the chin here. So you just slide that one just under the surface of the soft plastic. So that little nail weight acts as like a, a keel. So it just keeps that um, lure upright when you're slow rolling it and also when you're twitching it and that sort of thing. Sometimes I'll use a couple of these little nail weights just to get, get that bait swimming perfect. You can see that hook exposure there. Um, with a worm hook, you're gonna lose a lot of exposure. It'll be just poking out the top there, but that one um, has got a lot of exposure there. So I've found that you hook, you actually hook a fair few flathead on this front hook as opposed to the, the stinger um, using it like that and um, it, it's been working really well. So that one's good there. I'll then just get some fluoro. So it can be a little bit tricky getting this right, the perfect length, but I'll just tie it straight to the, the bend of the hook using just a uni knot. And then I like to measure up so I pretty well want that. I don't want it too far back in the, in the wrist of the lure um, cause that'll affect the action. So just about where that finlet is, is perfect. So I might actually cut that little finlet off just there. And I use a loop knot, a, a fly fishing loop knot for this one. So it's just like two, um, overhand knots that meet each other and form the loop. So just put that loop in there, first one. So just measuring up 
this again just because we want that stinger in the perfect spot. This is pretty well the, the trickiest part, just getting this um, stinger done right. I think this one's looking pretty good. So we'll just pin this one in the tail there. Just get it nice and straight under the lure. And that's pretty well perfect.